One of the biggest questions I get asked as a psychiatrist is, what supplements should I be taking for my ADHD? It seems like every time you blink, there's a new pill or powder claiming to have all the answers, with ads popping up on all of your socials if you even think about the word ADHD. Sorry about that. Navigating through the endless list of supplements, each with their own bold claims, can feel like being a kid in a candy store wearing a blindfold. Am I going to get the red Twizzlers or the black ones? Yuck. Now, the reality is there's a lot of smoke and mirrors in big supplement, and finding reliable information is often impossible. The desire to find something that works, that's safe, and doesn't break the bank, it's real. But the struggle? Oh, it's definitely real. But here's the good news. Amidst all the flashy labels and advertising speak, there are some supplements that have the evidence backing them up, with science giving them the A-OK. -okay. So let's get to it with my favorite ADHD supplements. And who am I to guide you through this? My name is Salman Aziz Mirza, triple war certified in adult psychiatry, child and adolescent psychiatry, and addiction medicine. And I spent way too much money doing research on this, so you don't have to. First up, let's dive into the realm of omega-3 fatty acids. These little wonders are often hailed as the superheroes in the dietary supplement universe. But why is that? Well, they play a critical role in brain health, supporting the very structure of your brain cells, which is so important with ADHD. Many individuals with ADHD often find themselves in a storm of symptoms that can make focusing feel like trying to tune a radio in a tunnel. So where do omega-3s fit in this scenario? There's been a growing body of evidence suggesting that omega-3 fatty acids potentially aid in helping improve focus and reducing impulsivity. Now, you may be wondering, all right, Dr. Mirza, what does the science have to say about this? Studies have shown a positive link between omega-3 supplementation and improvement in ADHD symptoms. For instance, a 2017 meta-analysis highlighted that omega-3 supplements, particularly those higher in EPA, showed modest improvements in attention in individuals with ADHD. Did you know that the type of omega-3s matter too? Yeah, it's not just about gulping down the generic pill. The higher the EPA content compared to the DHA, the better it may be in managing ADHD symptoms. A 2019 study showed supplementing with 1.2 grams of EPA showed clinically significant improvement in attention and focus compared with a placebo group. You typically would not need that much, so 250 to 500 milligrams daily is often enough. Next up is one of my favorites, and one that catches people off guard a bit. L-theanine is an amino acid found in green tea that's made quite a name for itself in the realm of relaxation without sedation. For many grappling with ADHD, the mind often feels like a race car with no brakes. It's zooming at 100 miles per hour from one thought to another. And here's where our friend L-theanine steps in. It's like that gentle hand on the shoulder, promoting relaxation and potentially helping the brain to switch gears more smoothly. But you might be wondering, does this tea leaf have the backing of the lab coats? There are some studies that have shown promise. For instance, a study found that L-theanine could help increase alpha brain and wave activity, which is linked to a state of relaxed alertness. And for those taking stimulant medications for ADHD, things like Adderall or Ritalin, or even caffeine via that morning cup or three of coffee, one of the most common adverse effects reported is jitteriness and anxiety that comes when they take them. And guess what? L-theanine can be a lifesaver for these people, helping to reduce those symptoms pretty effectively. Dosing-wise, it's suggested that 200 mg per day taken with a stimulant or caffeine is a good starting point. L-theanine is available in various forms, like capsules, tablets, or even powders that can be mixed into your morning smoothie or juice. It's all about whatever floats your boat. Now, let's cruise on to our next supplement spotlight, creatine. Often hailed as a gym buddy for those looking to bulk up, creatine is more than just a muscle friend. At its core, creatine is like the battery pack of our cells, playing a crucial role in energy production. It helps to fuel the engines, especially during high-intensity short burst activities. But the intrigue doesn't stop the muscles. No, it zooms right up to the brain too. There's mounting evidence about creatine's potential to enhance cognitive function. A study has shown that creatine supplementation might help improve mental fatigue which could be a small yet significant leap towards better cognitive function for individuals with ADHD. Similar to our buddies at the gym, five grams a day is a recommended dose. No more, no less. But consistency is the key. The positive brain function effects are seen when taking it, but similar to the positive bodybuilding effects are lost when stopping it. 
Now, let's venture into the realm of vitamin D, often fondly dubbed as the sunshine vitamin. This nutrient is a jack of many trades in the health department, contributing to bone health, immune function, and even playing a part in keeping our spirits lifted. When dealing with ADHD, it's not just about the hustle and the bustle of a wandering mind, but also about the roller coaster of moods and emotions. And here's where vitamin D might just be the ray of sunshine piercing through the clouds. We know that when our mood is better, our anxiety under control, our ability to focus and pay attention are dramatically improved. Going to the science, a study found that children with lower levels of vitamin D seem to have more pronounced ADHD symptoms. And since we know that almost all of us are or have been vitamin D deficient, well, it's the one low-hanging fruit to target pretty universally. Dosing-wise, the recommended daily allowance for vitamin D varies, but a common suggestion is around 600 to 800 international units for adults, although some experts advocate for higher doses based on how big that deficiency is, in which case they may need prescription strength vitamin D. Lastly, let's switch gears and talk about melatonin, the herald of slumber. This natural hormone is like the sandman of our bodies, signaling it's time to hit the hay as the day dims into night. For many with ADHD, a good night's sleep often feels like a treasure hunt with no map. Tied into this, poor sleep results in poor attention the following day, which leads to caffeine and sugary snacks to stay awake, which leads to crashing and napping, which then leads to poor sleep, and thus a vicious cycle is created. And here's where melatonin might just be the compass leading to the treasure chest of restful sleep. Especially for those ADHD individuals where insomnia crashes a party, melatonin could be the miracle worker that breaks that vicious cycle, aiding in easier transitions into dreamland. For melatonin supplements, a common starting dose is around 0.5 to 3 milligrams about 30 to 60 minutes before bedtime. One word of caution with melatonin. Since supplements are regulated differently than prescription medications, 3 milligrams with one manufacturer is not necessarily the same 3 milligrams with another one. So if you're going to use it, make sure to be consistent with the brand of it as well. It's one of the most common things I hear from parents of my child patients when all of a sudden little Johnny can't sleep anymore. As we wrap up, it's vital to remember that this is a blend of scientific facts, ongoing research, a dash of hope, and anecdotal evidence. Each supplement we discussed opens a door to potential pathways in managing ADHD symptoms. However, it's essential to discuss these with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your regimen. And remember, these are supplements with the evidence-based treatment recommendations being a combination ultimately of stimulant medication with behavioral therapy. Also, every individual's experience with ADHD is as unique as a fingerprint, and what works wonders for one may not strike the same chord for you. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope that you learned something new and different about ADHD supplementation. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below which one of these you've tried, what's worked best, what didn't, and hopefully we can all learn from each other. Until next time, be safe and be well.